27th, isn't it? <laughs> the calendar's still on September. Uh, I know it's the 27th. Is it the 27th? Does this say no? Yes. It's 27th, Thursday. Okay, right, so I didn't really. I was just ooh yesterday, but I'm not going to be ooh today. I was just about to start the video and then uh, I mean yesterday I registered the oven so the first thing you know and the thing is it was yesterday evening I registered the oven and then the first thing I've had this morning call from the people to talk about my oven go away and as you can see I am still very spotty there's one there there's one there there's one there I washed it all last night put stuff on it which i know just brings it out worse Whew. it's because of my youthful complexion anyway i only have two things here that are paid for to post this i listed yesterday and it's sold so i don't know if i've put it on for too little but it's it's got damage at the back you know it's got lifting at the back it's quite bad spine damage and it's at the point where the pages are going to start detaching. So I'm going to put it in there, apparently. I'm going to reuse that one because that one's quite rigid. At one point they were selling these in B&M, but I never found them. I never managed to find them. And then some Lego lattice fencing panels, which, like I say, I've got all ready. I don't think I've got enough to do any more of those packs because... When I'd suddenly had a flurry of sales, I made a whole load more packs on so that I could sort of like ride on the coattails of those other tails. So I'm going to swiftly post them. And um, before I go, I am actually going to start sorting through these boxes. Um, specifically because... there's some of them and there's i think there's some more in the other room um which are going because this is not part of my life so i need to throw all the stuff which is going to charity into this bag but i just need to work out the things which i'm going to list myself Are these worn through? I can't think whether they are. I think they are actually. These are these are a pair of jeans which I decided to get rid of because they're just there's something about Gok Wang. He like makes out that he knows about women. But I don't think he does. Because they fitted really well and then they after a few washes became very ill fitting. I think the only thing which I'm like struggling to make my decision on is these. I think I am going to auction them. These are the ones which have been shrunk in the wash. So, women's US 6.5. I mean, they are my size. I know that they are. But I can't, I tend to buy fours and fives. So I don't know if these are a four or a five. So I just need to check that. But, I mean, they're such a small size, I think I'm going to struggle. But I am going to put them on auction, I think. I'm just a bit, like, in two minds because of this shrinkage issue. The, th the problem that I've got, the reason why I'm like, oh, God, what do I do? Some people on eBay are advertising these new with the, like, Iron Maiden box. They're advertising them for £350 or something like that. And there's part of me is just thinking, oh, God, they're obviously worth a decent wedge. <laughs> but I don't know. Right, so I'm going to go through all of this um, and then work out what stuff. And there's probably stuff in my actual boxes, which is going to go on, go to the charity. So then I know that I'm dealing with it and just so that I can just drop it off at the charity on the way uh, to the post office. So, I'm going to sort all that now.
like piles so that's just makes it easier to just know that everything's sorted the man that came in just as a, i'm sure he was trying to catch out with her it's like still in bed at 10 a.m <laughs> So he's come back to take the car. So I don't know how I'm going to get to the post office with these. Oh, so heavy. Oh. I will pull through. Um. Yeah, I pulled a t-shirt out that I don't think I should have got rid of. And a pair of trousers which I think I need to like see if they fit me because I am going to try and get myself some work I need to get some work because I'm getting fed up well my, I think my bank my bank has lost has lost its rag with me this week because of the amount of use I have of my overdraft they've just been a real wanker to me this week so I'm not I've not I'm not willing to put myself through this anymore I'm picking these silly trainers up again um, yeah, one of the bags I decided to sell, which was this one, even though it is very flimsy. So that's going on auction. These are the ones I can't make a decision on. So, Jones, well, there's, this is, this is a weird one because they're obviously like, the boots, the boots are the ones that people want. And then the shoes, they seem to be like part of the fetish market from what I can bloody see. Um, if I want to sell these, I've got to put a photo of my foot in it, which is just weird. If you can't work out how a pair of shoes works, it's just... So I can't actually work out whether there's a decent resale market in it or if it's just a fetish market on eBay. Um, I mean, possibly I should be able to get 15 to 20. I do like these shoes. But I can't see me wearing them. I mean, I'm 43... And there comes a point in life where you don't, you, people can't tell you what to do and to be smart and the rest of it. It's not like I'm going to be going to like a red carpet do or something. And if it was, it'd be weird for it. So this is all my sort of like repairs. Um, yeah, so I'm going to push through my repairs if I can. It would probably be this weekend. There's a couple of things there to model. Um, because they just don't look right. They need a pair of boobs in them because they're a bit booby. And because well, they're like off the shoulder things and they just look completely wrong on a mannequin. So I've got to model them regardless. So that might be something that's happening next week. I don't know. I keep saying this because they've been knocking around in there now for the best part of a year. So I need to just like stop faffing around with it. Right, so that's going to go there because I sit there and I do my sewing. So that will go there. And now I've ditched the carpet. So this is the rug which, the rug which I do my um, photography on. I hoovered it yesterday. And now I've put bits all over it. So I'm, I'm just, I'm just like spot on. I am. It's only like little bits, but little bits is what makes the difference. So I might, I, I might just take that off. I thought it was going to be raining this morning, but it isn't. It's lovely out there. It said it was going to spark up from one o'clock onwards. And I've got another jumper in there, which I de-haired on the balcony. It looked great. And I did it inside and out to pull the hairs off it. Then laundered it. And the laundry process have bought loads more dog hairs out of it. So I'm kind of regretting getting that one. Even though I think it's like the same donator, it's just it's been in storage for like a year because it's come from the same place. Anyway, that big bag is going to charity with me while I take this. So I mean, yeah, technically it would have been nice to have a car, but it doesn't matter because I literally, I have to walk across there. The hardest part is now crossing the road because um, the road's quite busy. It's got these cycle lanes on it and the traffic... It, you have to sort of like run across the road now. Um, there's been a few fatalities since they put these cycle lanes in. Cycle, uh, fatalities of pedestrians like me. Um, it's a disgrace. <sighs> right, so yeah, that's that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to come back and start ironing. Men's wear, left iron. Um... That's ironed ready for photographing. 
Ugh, this added things which I uh, I hand washed it and it's not enough it's not enough and it was sunny and now it's gone funny again so hopefully by the time I've just by the time I finish that well I've just had I've just had scrambled egg anyway so by the time I finish that I won't feel like vomiting <laughs> I'm outside, so the light has just gone stupid for taking photos. I mean, it just it's so dark in there. So this is my next quest. Since I haven't taken all of the menswear photos, so I may as well try and get this ready for tomorrow. This has been debobbled once. Now, this has actually sat out here through various rainstorms debobbled it's not been debobbled it's been de-haired and then I washed it and then there's still more of these wretched hairs in here which I'm assuming are somebody's dog hairs but they're literally everywhere and they're really winding me up and this is a really nice jumper which I could sell for 50 to 60, but probably gonna be more like 30 to 40 because it's filled with dog hairs. So I'm gonna try and get the rest of these out. I mean, look, some of them are really graphic like that. They look fine. After I'd done this process once, and I came out here in the heavy winds and did it so it all blew away. And then, washed it and then all, a load more came to the surface and they'll be inside as well I mean obviously I'm just going to have to declare it oh jeez hello I'm Siobhan I don't get much air time um, yes it's me yes mannequins mannequins still have a big pile of stuff to photograph so the light went really weird i like had an hour of really perfect light for taking photos in which space i've done 14 photos not 14 photos 14 sets of 12 photos of 14 items and then it was two the two at the end it just wasn't right because the sun started setting and it was just orange light over there and I know it looks perfect because this is a low light camera but yeah I haven't done I've still got all of this that jumper doesn't look so bad I've just de-haired it properly there's still a load inside it there's still a load like showing it's very frustrating I don't know I think I might like put it on for about 30. I think, I think that's it. I think I've just got to like face it. It's just going to be a 30 man jumper. Every time I look at it, I can just see another one of these hairs. And I'm not taking them out in here. No way. And uh, Siobhan is going to do some debobbling. Yeah. Gender roles. I am a girl. I have to do sewing and debobbling. Well, no, it's not necessarily the case. You just said you would. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. I haven't even done the menswear, that's it. I haven't even completed all the menswear, so that's what's frustrating. I thought, oh, well, at least I'll just get all the menswear stuff. Anyway, the 14 things I have got photographed, I am now going to list. It's half five, so. <sighs> I'll see what I can do, probably up until about seven. I'll probably get all of that done. I've got to get it all done. I've got to get some bits on. They're all like band t-shirts and things. Um, so I don't think it'll be like, it's not gonna be difficult for me to get them on quickly because they're not difficult to list, band t-shirts really. Um, so I'm gonna crack on with that. Um, compile this video so that Vlogtober continues. And yeah, same again tomorrow really. It's going to pour down with rain in the morning. Actually, it's the same weather forecast.
tomorrow that it gave today it said it was going to piss down in the morning and then it was going to be sunny from 12 o'clock onwards it's now saying the same thing for tomorrow but actually it was okay in the morning as well and around midday so i've just got to make sure that i'm on it midday because the midday sun doesn't cause like crazy shadows it's the crazy shadows which make it difficult to take photos and this is why i don't like winter autumn winter no enough for me thank you I, I do get problems with light sometimes being too bright in the summer but you have more of it and you have more opportunity you know and then when i'm getting annoyed it's because it's like 7 or 8 p.m at night and it stands to reason that it's going to start being a funny light anyway we must continue and we must persevere <laughs> right thank you for watching be back again tomorrow goodbye yeah you can subscribe see you tomorrow me <laughs>